So, what is a non-zero-sum game? It is a situation in which the benefit of one individual does not necessarily result in the loss of another individual. A win-win situation can be accomplished in a non-zero-sum game. Can you give an example of a non-zero-sum game? The most classic example is the prisoner's dilemma covered in the previous video. The prisoner's dilemma is often referred to as a game of trust. In deciding not to confess and trust the other player to do the same, both inmates will get the best result in a win-win situation. Unfortunately, the incentive to cheat is more lucrative from an individual perspective. Is the prisoner's dilemma a fair representation of real-world office politics? Yes and no. If you are only dealing with the person once and would never see him again, your best bet is to cheat before he can do the same to you, and this is mathematically proven in the prisoner's dilemma. However, in the real world, our interaction is often repeated and not a one-off event. Unless you quit your job, you have to play the game of office politics multiple times. By cheating at every opportunity, one day, you would have to pay the price, and this is perfectly illustrated by the iterated or repeated prisoner's dilemma. What is the best strategy for iterated prisoner's dilemma? In the model iterated prisoner's dilemma, the best strategy is tit for tat. An extra salary bonus would be offered to those who do overtime work. Alan and Ben had agreed verbally not to work overtime. The players are free to collude, and this is an important difference from a textbook example of the prisoner's dilemma. What if Alan defects? Ben may have been fooled on the first day, but now he would copy whatever Alan had done on the previous day. If the trend persists, both of them will end up working ridiculously long hours. If Alan decides to stop the loop and finally comply, both would hit breakeven. The end result is the same as what would have happened if the two had decided to collaborate in the first place and not work overtime. This simple example provides a certain mathematical basis for the famous golden rule of ethical conduct and why learning to cooperate with others can provide long-term dividends.